Harvey Hong, um, light flyweight, 49 kilos. I've won six junior national titles. I've won one ABA title. I've won, just recently won European silver medal. Well, Harvey Horn, thank you for speaking with us here on Box Nation. On the eve of the World Championships in Doha, your first ever World Senior Championships, how much are you looking forward to this, the biggest tournament in your career to date? Oh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, like you say, it's the biggest, biggest point of my career so far. And um, hopefully it'll be my biggest achievement so far when I medal out there. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. You come away from that European Championship silver in Bulgaria earlier this summer. How much confidence has that given you that still as a teenager, just 19 years of age, you're able to mix it with the best on the continent and come away with a podium finish at a really tough tournament? Yeah, um, I had a tough tournament. It's given me a lot of confidence. I mean, um, I had a bit of a stinker out in Baku at the European Games. I got beat to the Russian. He did eventually win it. But um, obviously my confidence wasn't brilliant from then, but going to Bulgaria, I had a tough tournament, like I say, I had a seasoned German, a youth Olympic champion, one of the best Russians about, and I managed to get myself a silver. Come up short again in the final against the Russian, but a lot closer this time, so it just shows that I'm progressing how I should be. Now, during that, you're wearing the war wound above that right eyebrow where you had that significant eye injury. It's closed up now, but how significant was it? How long has the recovery been? What have the doctors said about your continuation in the boxing game? Um, it was a very bad one, don't get me wrong, but um, the doctor said it wasn't the worst they've seen, but obviously that isn't a great, a great um, comfort. <laughs> but um, I think I had about four stitches in it. It was, um, it was quite clean, so even though it was big, it was quite deep, it was quite clean. And um, it didn't stop me from uh, competing in the finals the next day. It did make me a bit wary, but um, I mean, it didn't stop me from competing and that was the main thing. And it's healed up well, so, as well as it could have. And um, yeah. Now that you've gone deep into tournaments, you know what it's like to manage your weight, you know what it's like to box with injuries, you know what it's like to box at not 100%. How valuable is all that experience going into this, the World Championships in, Do in Doha? It's very valuable. I mean, you only get better with experience. I mean, I've only been on the squad for about a year now, so I've had to be, I've been propelled into international boxing quite quickly and I've had to, I've been forced to develop quickly. So um, my space was quite open. I'm kind of securing it now. So, um, I mean, like I said, I only get better experience and it's all, it's just leaving me in good stead for these championships and for Rio potentially. Obviously the rate I've, been, I've progressed has had, to be, has had to be fast because I've had to secure my spot. I've got Rio around the corner and um, these majors I've been to, I've had to, I've had to develop quickly, otherwise I'll get lost. And um, I think I'm definitely happy with the way it's happened, and especially looking around here. Like, I'm even like Richie Woodall's here as well, he's on the wall, there. and him training me, it's a massive inspiration. There's even a picture there, that this could be you in 2016. And that's all the inspiration you need. If you're not motivated for training in this gym, you're in the wrong sport. Yeah. And what ambition have you set for yourself coming out of those World Championships? Because it's only the gold medalists that get through from 49. So what ambition, what target have you set for Doha 2015? Um, gold medal, nothing less than a gold medal. And um, if, I, if I didn't believe that I could do it, I wouldn't be doing it. So I'm going out there to take the gold and I'm going to have to earn it. So the draw is, does a favour sometimes, but at the end of the day, to take the gold, you've got to beat everyone there. So, and that's what I plan to do. So.